Chinese black market has already been flooded with unreleased Intel 14th generation CPUs. Asus has made a GPU fusion with the RTX 4090 and the RTX 4060 Ti with the M.2 slot. AMD Threadripper Pro 7995WX is causing havoc in Cinebench R23. And lastly, RTX 4080, 4070 Ti are getting removed from the shelves for the RTX 40 Super launch, or is it? Alright, so firstly we have Harukase5719 has tweeted this or posted this in on X. And as you can see, it's the Intel Core i3-14100, which hasn't been released yet, right? Well, basically this is the, well, the black market for the... Uh, Chinese black market and we can you can get these CPUs in those markets which is kind of interesting why they're already releasing in the black market right now I mean it's called black market for a reason but anyway Intel Core i3-13400 i3-14100 basically has been uh, released here not only that we also have more CPUs which is according to computer base we're looking at the i5-14500 yes that's exactly what you're looking at it also been released or in the black market has been released but not only that we also have the core i9 4900k the i7 4700k and the i5 4600k has been released already which we already know but these cpus like the i3 14100 and the i5 14500 hasn't been released yet we also have the i5 14400 which is interesting all these cpus are getting released the 14400f and we also have the 14500T, the newer addition to the series, which is the T series. So yeah, all these CPUs are being uh, released in the black market, not in the gray market yet. But in the black market, we're looking at the at these CPUs, which is kind of strange why they're being released now. But either way, they're being released. So basically, they will be released soon, I guess, because, you know, they're already in the black market. Not only that, this particular model we're looking at, the i3-14100, it was priced at 850 RMB, if I'm not wrong. And I think when you convert that to US dollars, it, sh it should price at $118. So, yeah, I mean, it's a it's a lower tier model, i3-14100, but $118. Is it a fair deal? Not sure if it's a fair deal, but either way, I mean, it's a black market price, I guess. So, there shouldn't be any... I mean, it should be the better deal, right? Because it's black market. With no warranty, so... No guarantee if it's gonna work or not so yeah next up we have another information from wcc aftac here and as you can see this is the asus demoing their well the rtx 4090 evangelion with the rtx 4060 ti and it has that m.2 slot as i mentioned before so how, quite interesting how they did that right so let's look into it so as we already know the rtx 4060 ti this particular variant has a, well, a particular m.2 slot that supports a gen 5 times uh 4 i, I believe yeah Gen times time four, or you can also support Gen times uh, Gen four times eight. So yeah, it, it can support those. But either way, this M.2 supports Gen times times four, and the only reason they are able to do that is because RTX 4060 Ti uh, eight gigs supports only Gen PCIe X4 times eight. So it doesn't really use the full flat X16. So we still have eight missing or eight not utilized. So basically, for that reason this m.2 slot can utilize that the rest of the lanes and well i guess m.2 kind of makes sense because you know you don't want to waste those lanes you know and that that's why they decided to use the well the m.2 slot for you know the ssd input but uh tony here from from billy billy has changed this idea of using a ssd rather using a full flat gpu so as you can see it's uh, they're using the the rtx 4090 evangelion with the rtx 4060 ti well it doesn't mean that you can simultaneously run both gpus because you know nvlink don't exist here or anything but the thing is that they're utilizing that lane which is the gen 5 times 4 lanes or gen 4 times 8 lanes because you know the 8 lanes are missing and the gen 5 times 4 and gen 4 times 8 should be the same according to the lanes of course so it should work properly and that's why you, you can see that the RTX 4090 even though it's not really performing up to the most I'm guessing because you know that it's only using the gen 4 times 8 so I believe there should be some performance issues well I wouldn't say issues just bottlenecking according to the lanes here so gen 4 times 8 is being used which is equates to gen 5 times 4 and that's why we're looking at the RTX 4090 is running as you can already tell it's running the cyberpunk 2077 at 148 fps on this current scene here and it's perfectly looking good even though the performance is not 
giving you the full output but still it works you know it works and th this demonstration is not just for the RTX 4090 or you can pair this with another GPU or anything maybe like if any other device whatever device that could be can work uh, using the gen 4 times 8 lanes that extra lanes I think this is a really good use not just for SSDs but for any devices basically because you know it, it, it works with the GPU so it should work with any other devices so it kind of opens up this uh, technology here which is I really rate this I really like this and hopefully we'll see more GPUs that don't utilize the full flat x16 lane rather utilizes only the x8 has more slot available which is the x8 lane gen 4 x8 for other devices to be utilized so we'll see about that next up we have something interesting according to Quasar zone they were shown some slides from AMD here and basically they just looked into the performance for the 64 core 128 thread the Ryzen Threadripper series which we're talking about the 7995WX Threadripper Pro so let's look into it well that's the Ryzen Threadripper Pro 7000X series basically the 79 they're using the 7980 that's the only non-pro series I'm guessing but with the pro series the HEDT it goes even beyond that so they basically shared these uh, benchmarks here you can already find them in the description i'm not going to look into them because that's not the important thing i want to focus on because we have something even beyond our imagination what they can do when it comes to overclocking so what i wanted to focus on here is basically this slide here which is the wall record achieved using the threadripper pro 7000 basically the 7995wx and if you look into the score here it's it's beyond our imagination what it can achieve using the cinebench r23 the first world record we get to see was using the two times epic 9554 and it got 147668 but using a single threadripper pro 7995wx well if you look into it it got 184,000. it's beyond what an overclock can achieve with the threadripper pro it, this is crazy and not only that this is not even the will record now because by t by the time we're talking right now it we have or some others users have broken up world record so let's look into them so here we have it we have the 201k or basically 201,501 using the amd ryzen threadripper pro 7995wx at 6000 megahertz or 6 gigahertz and this is not even the first place because look into it it's fourth place exactly this is not even the first place and it's already going beyond the 200,000 mark as you can see right over here in the cinebench r23 we're looking at the cpu multi-core test at 201 which is crazy absolutely crazy but as i said this is not even the first place so let's look into the first one the user saved this from south korea here as you can see they have achieved a 210k basically 210k for the first prize and it's first in every single rank the wr rank global 90x 96x cpu rank and the rise ryzen threadripper pro rank so all the ranks is that this is the first world record and they have achieved 6.25 gigahertz which is yeah that's crazy and right over here we can already see the confirmation which is the cpu multi-core which is 210 i don't think you can see it because it's really tiny but yeah it's heavily overclocked and i'm, I'm guessing this is going beyond 1.6 k watt consumption which is i mean this total system consumption but yeah it's it's beyond imagination what they can achieve with the third ripper pro this third ripper pro is looking extremely good definitely and this might not be the only world record we see using this processor and next up we have something from video cards here and they're, they're claiming that nvidia board partners will be, rem will be removing the rtx 4080 and the 4070 tr from the shelves or the inventory and that is because of the rtx 40 super launch and in the board channels, we can't really have any access because there's accounts required. But anyway, board, according to board channels, we have these two informations that has been translated to English. So let's look into it. The RTX 4080 series. NVIDIA did not allocate a significant quantity of GPUs in the quarter 4. Consequently, the inventory levels at various AIC manufacturers are very low. It is anticipated that by November, the inventories of graphics cards brands will be depleted and cleared. So basically, according to... The board channels the, the rtx 4080 series will be removed till november and well that's basically because they will be introducing the rtx 4080 super and let's look into the rtx 4070s ti series the last batch of shipments from nvidia in the quarter four was not substantial based on the current inventory situations of aic brand manufacturers it is expected that clearing the inventory will be 
Swift with the possibility of completion as early as November and at the latest by December. The primary factors influencing in the timeline are the factories, inventory, clearance, speed, and rhythm control. So yeah, basically the RTX 4070 Ti series and the 4080 series will be depleted in terms of the inventory and they will be introducing the super gpus as you can already tell they're awaiting the shipments of the super gpu so the super series for the rtx 4070 ti specifically ti and the rtx 4080 because we've already discussed about this the rtx 4070 ti will have a super ti variant which is a bit awkward the naming the word they're going for exactly the rtx 4070 ti super or super ti whatever you want to call it and of course the rtx 4080 super will be introduced too so these are the two super series we'll be seeing but the only question is will they com be completely be removed we, we are not sure about that because we already know that rtx 4070 super is also coming so what's next so again from video cards they have clarified according to board channels this is the clarification we got the rtx 4080 super will replace the rtx 4080 series indicating the discontinuation of the rtx 4080 series so there will be no rtx 4080 series that is confirmed rtx 4070 ti super a very odd naming but either way they're going for that will replace the rtx 4070 ti series signifying the discontinuation of the rtx 4070 ti series again confirmed but for the rtx 4070 super will not entirely replace the rtx 4070 series instead it will coexist with the rtx 4070 series for an extended period however the focus will primarily be on the sales of the rtx 4070 super series so exactly that's what i'm trying to say is that rtx 4070 super and 4070 non-super which is already existing will coexist together but the 4070 ti super and 4080 super will basically replace their counterparts or their predecessors you could say that that's the only confirmation we're getting so another confusion with the naming which is the rtx 4070 ti super and well i guess it in a way it kind of clarifies the naming problem because you know the rtx 4070 ti will not exist so the only ti you're looking at for the rtx 4070 will be the ti super but for the rtx 4070 super there will be two variants which is the non-super and super so you should check check on those you know the tags if it's a super card or not because you know you, you should because super should be the better performing card question would be will it be a bit premium in pricing or will it be it's the same as the rtx 4070 not sure because look rtx 4080 super is replacing the rtx 4080 non-super so meaning the pricing should remain the same if not then that's kind of uh kind of is sketchy the rtx 4070 ti super also replacing the non super ti <laughs> i'm sorry about the naming it's it is like that because yeah the rtx 4070 ti super should be the same as the rtx 4070 ti in terms of pricing in terms of performance it should perform a bit better that's all we can tell <laughs>